Welcome back to the Festival Kitchen. My name is Emily and this is Jenny and we are two of Festival's Mealtime Mentors. Today we are bringing the world to your table with a one skillet breakfast dish. That's right, Emily. We are making shakshuka, which is a delicious, heavily spiced tomato dish with eggs. It's super yummy, uh, typically served for breakfast, but um, let's, we've already gotten this started. So. Yes, we've got um, some onions and garlic going in our pan with a little bit of olive oil, and we're just cooking it until the onions are translucent. So they're actually looking pretty good here. So then the next step is to add in our canned crushed tomatoes. And we love using canned fruits and vegetables. We are huge proponents of all forms of fruits and vegetables matter, so it doesn't matter if a fruit or a vegetable is fresh, frozen, canned, dried, or 100% juice, they all count towards our daily intake. Yeah, it smells so good already. All right, so then next we are adding in our paprika, and then we have some cumin, a little bit of oregano, salt and pepper, and of course my favorite, red pepper flakes. So this is an optional ingredient, you could also um, add more if you'd like, or you could leave it out if you're not a huge fan of spices. Um, but what I really love about this dish is that it uses a lot of pantry staples. So you can really throw this dish together, um, use, it, use them in a kind of unique way, um, but throw this together really quickly. Yeah, so it's so simple. So we're just going to let this simmer for about five to seven minutes or until the sauce thickens. So go ahead and cover it and let it go for a little bit. All right, so it's been about five to seven minutes and our tomatoes are looking pretty good, looking like they have thickened a little bit. So the next ingredient that we're gonna add are our cannellini beans. We're using a can of drained and rinsed beans. Um, you might not always see beans in shakshuka recipes, but we like to add them because they add that source of plant-based protein and fiber, really nutritious option. You could also add lentils. If you'd like cooked lentils, that's a very traditional dish or traditional ingredient for this region of the world. Yeah. All right. So then this just needs to cook until the beans are heated through about another two to three minutes. And this dish is originally from North Africa. Um, however, it's kind of transitioned throughout the Middle East and a lot of different cultures will enjoy this dish for breakfast. But like we mentioned earlier, this is a great simple dish to make for supper as well. Yeah, and one interesting fact that um, I found out is that shakshuka actually means mixture in Arabic. Really? I yeah. didn't know that. All right, so these look pretty good. Right. So then our next step is to add in our eggs. So we've just got whole eggs that we've cracked and we're going to just place them into the pan here. Oops, sorry. Go ahead and keep cracking. Um, I like to crack eggs into individual dishes. That way, if you happen to get some of the eggshell in there, you can more easily fish them out. I'm notorious for doing that. Um, also, a trick that I learned is that if you actually use the, the eggshell to get whatever remaining eggshell that may have fallen into the egg out, it's a little bit easier. Definitely. All right, so we've got our eggs in here, and we're just going to go ahead and cover it and let it cook until they are done to our liking. It'll take about another five to seven minutes. All right, so I think our eggs are pretty much done. Let's take a peek here. Ooh, that looks amazing. All right. Yeah, the sauce is thickened. The eggs look like they've cooked all the way through. I absolutely love this meal because it's a one skillet meal. Yes, and it is also meatless. So it's great for Meatless Monday if you are looking to eat a little bit more plant-based meal. You could also make this without the eggs to make it vegan. Um, that'd be a really great option as well. And we are proponents of the half plate plants as well. So filling up your plate with plants. Um, here we're using tomatoes and the yeah. beans. This smells so good. It does. And you can see it's kind of soupy um, or has a really great sauce. And that's perfect because you typically serve this with some type of pita bread or bread. You could use pita bread from our deli or we have some great sprouted grain bread yes. from our bakery. Get a whole grain option. Mm -hmm. um, but great to mop up some of these juices. Yeah, I don't want any of that to go to waste. Right. Okay, so we can use some of our optional top. Optional toppings, uh, we have some feta cheese and fresh parsley. Use a little bit of this to well, add some nice I color. i some cheese in mine. All right, you ready to give this yeah, a try? Definitely. 
Mm. So good. Such a great balance of flavors, lots going on. Yeah, and it's just so easy. I absolutely love super simple recipes. <laughs> well, we hope you give this delicious one skillet breakfast recipe a try. Or try it for dinner. And for more recipes and resources from your mealtime mentors, visit festfoods.com.